in the bustling town of Deadwood, where gold rush is on the rise and danger lurks around every corner. One man stands out from the rest with his intellect, business acumen, and unshakable loyalty. That man is Soul Star. While Deadwood may be known as lawless and wild, Soul Star represents a beacon of reason and stability in this chaotic town. He's not only a typical businessman, but also the best partner of the legendary lawman in town, Seth Bullock. In this video, we unravel the fascinating story of Soul Star, the most astute businessman in Deadwood, and Seth Bullock's best friend. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting videos. Solomon Starr, commonly known as Soul Star, was born on December 20th, 1840 in Bavaria. His parents, Marcus and Minnie Friedlander Starr, raised him until the age of 10 after which he was sent to live with his uncle Joseph Friedlander in Ohio. In Ohio, Soul not only attended school but also worked in his uncle's garment business. This job gives him valuable knowledge and skills that will help him in the future. When Soul Star reached his teens in 1857, he worked as a clerk for a grocery store. However, when Civil War broke out, prompted him to seek new opportunities. He decided to move to Missouri and work in the retail business. Next, in 1865, Soul Star ventured to Virginia City in Montana, where he saw great business potential. He quickly opened a shop. The store prospered for seven years until 1872. During this time, Soul Star's ability and reputation attracted the attention of President Grant, who appointed him receiver of the land office at Helena, Montana. It was in Helena that he met Seth Bullock, an encounter that would form a bond that would last a lifetime. The two teamed up to set up a hardware store. While living in Montana, Soul Star also devoted himself to public service. He has made notable contributions as a regional auditor and served as private secretary to the governor. With the discovery of gold in the Black Hills and the ensuing explosion of the Deadwood mining camp, Seth and Soul Star recognized a compelling opportunity for their hardware business. Seizing the opportunity, they quickly loaded their goods into the carriage and began their journey across Sioux Territory towards Deadwood. On August 1, 1876, they arrived at the bustling mining camp, their wagons loaded with a variety of hardware goods, picks, pans, shovels, dynamite, cooking utensils, and many other necessary supplies. Initially setting up their hardware store in a tent, Seth and Soul wasted no time expanding their offerings. They soon added furniture, wallpapers, lights, and other household items along with their hardware merchandise. Their newly built store, located on the corner of Main Street and Wall Street, has become a hub of activity and commerce in Deadwood. Starr and Bullock both became involved in Deadwood's politics early on. Seth Bullock, who previously served in law enforcement in Montana, assumed the role of Lawrence County's first sheriff and later became the United States Marshal for the region. Both Seth and Soul also served as city councilors, actively involved in the administration of the town. In 1878, Soul Starr was appointed postmaster of the city, a position he held for three years. Unfortunately, his tenure as postmaster was marred by a scandal involving the embezzlement of government funds. Although Starr was later acquitted of any wrongdoing, the incident tarnished his reputation. Determined to restore his image as an honest public servant, Sol Starr spent the next years working diligently to rebuild trust in the community. Continuing their plan, the pair embarked on a business expansion including investing in multiple mining projects in the area. In 1879, they acquired a number of individual farms from local farmers and ranchers, uniting them to form S.B. Starr and Bullock Farms in the neighboring town of Belforche. Seth Bullock, known for his passion for horses, primarily oversees the operations of S.B. Ranch, engaging in the livestock business, raising horses, and even cultivating the first alfalfa crop in the Dakota Territory. 
In 1880, the Deadwood Flowering Mill Company was formed in partnership with Harris Franklin, with Soul Star taking over as management. It's worth noting that although Deadwood has no official synagogue or resident rabbi, there's still a vibrant Jewish presence in town. Jewish services were performed by a lay leader named Nathan Coleman, and Soul Star was actively involved in community service through religious gatherings held in various locations. Interestingly, a significant portion of Deadwood's original businesses, about a third, were owned or occupied by Jewish merchants. Soul Star played an important role in the business network of these Jewish merchants and in the bu- business community of Deadwood. Continuing with his political ambitions, Soul Star achieved the venerable position of Mayor of Deadwood in 1884, a role he held until 1893. During this period, when the territory actively pursued statehood in 1889, Starr became a member of the State Assembly. His leadership qualities were recognized when he was selected as president of the first Republican State Convention held in South Dakota, which once housed Seth Bullock and Soul Starr's hardware stores. Tragedy struck in 1894 when their hardware store in Deadwood was engulfed in flames. However, instead of rebuilding the store, they decided to build Deadwood's first hotel on the same premises. This three-story luxury hotel had 64 steam-heated rooms and indoor bathrooms on each floor, a remarkable feat for the time. The construction of this magnificent facility cost a considerable sum of $40,000. Today, the Bullock Hotel still stands, welcoming guests, and now has a 24-hour casino on site. After a two-year term, as a state senator, he was again elected mayor of Deadwood in 1896. In 1899, he was elected clerk of the court for Lawrence County, a position he held for the rest of his life. Although there are some who claimed that Soul Star was in a relationship with the beautiful restaurant owner in Deadwood, but in fact he was still unmarried and lived alone on the large farm until his death on October 10, 1917. Soul Star's funeral is said to be the most grand and lavish ever witnessed in Deadwood. Star's body was transported to St. Louis, Missouri, where he was laid to rest in the new Mount Sinai Cemetery. The memory of Soul Star, Deadwood's astute businessman and loyal friend of Seth Bullock, lives on, immortalized in history of this frontier town. Soul Star was played by John Hawks in the 2004 to 2006 Deadwood television series. Interestingly, the show's producers moved the character's birthplace to Vienna instead of Bavaria. Hawks reprised his role in the 2019 TV series Deadwood, the movie, set a decade after the events in season 3. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.